what will happen to my social security disability claim if I have been referred to the cooperative disability investigations program because of suspected fraud? Nobody ever wants to hear that word. And there are many things that you can do to trigger a referral to the Cooperative Disability Investigations Program Unit. These things can include filing multiple disability applications, lying on your application about your disability or your onset date, lying on your application about whether or not you're working, lying about how much you're actually making if you are working. So how does that referral work? Well, a referral can be made by an anonymous source, like an ex-spouse, ex-lover, ex-friend. It can be made by a private citizen, a law enforcement agency, the Social Security Administration itself, and even an administrative uh, law judge uh, that will hear your Social Security claim. Now, once that referral has been made, there's going to be an investigation of your education, your work, uh, your medical records, uh, any post application employment. There might even be video surveillance or there might be interviews of your friends or family members. If that is happening, you're unfortunately potentially going to be facing a, tro a, a problem. Um, ultimately, this unit is going to issue a report that's going to be sent to the local Social Security office. And they are going to be looking at this report. Uh, and that office, known as the Disability Determination Services, or DDS, is going to make a decision about whether or not there's fraud. Now, DDS will decide whether or not uh, you should get your Social Security disability benefits at the initial and request for reconsideration stage. Um, you have the legal right to review the report of this investigation, since the report is going to be found in Section F of your Social Security file. Now, you can challenge the evidence, if in fact you haven't committed fraud. Uh, and there, I think, are some very specific ways to go about it. Of course, it depends on what's in that report. But being the subject of a cooperative disability investigation can make the Social Security Disability Claims process even more difficult. It's hard to win a Social Security case as it is, but to have this referral and have a report suggesting that you're committing fraud can make it much harder. Many Social Security disability attorneys won't even touch this kind of case because they just don't want to get involved. Now, I may take your case. It depends on what's in that uh, report and whether or not I believe you and whether or not we can rebut this information. It's crucial that it be done timely because you can lose your right to Social Security disability benefits if you don't timely file a claim. If you're gaming the system, I'm not the attorney for you. Otherwise, give me a call today at 727-894-3188 for a complimentary consultation.